Dear viewers, hi, hello, how are you? We are presenting a new video today. Our video consists with the simple methods and some gazettes, which is improvise your daily life towards a very destiny part. So please be with us to the whole video and we will show you some new gadgets. We arrange STC 1000 today. This is a unique temperature controller circuit as well as having a cooling and exhausting system. This function, how it does, we will uh, just explain you that what type of STC 1000 we have. If you just look, this is STC 1000. This is a 110 to 220 volt AC device. And as well as we will have also the DC version here. There is mentioning DC 12 volt is marked but both the circuits are currently activating with the same method so we will just do with a simple single circuit which is mentioning the ac circuit and we will use this today so those who are just waiting for the best support with the creation of STC 1000 how you can do to make an incubator and as well as the home system so no more talk we are entering in our main video part let's go so what we need we need nothing else without this some sort of product we need STC 1000, one piece and a connector, two pin plug with a small wire as we need. Two small piece of wire to make the breeze. A simple 5 inch AC fan and a holder with a light. This is essential. We are using this light instead of a heater where you can use directly a heater. So it's a very useful part. So let's go to the joining part. Here we will just open our STC 1000. Here we will find this type of a gazette with a simple how to use slip here its main function specification and technical parameters are given the panel instruction already have been given here very clearly and key operation assist instructions are having and in the last we will find the diagram you should have to read the safety regulations very keenly. Now we will use this diagram to connect our components. So go on. This is our first power port and this is the sensor port and these two having heat 5 and 6, 7 and 8 is cooling part. So we will connect our heater to 5 and 6 and the 7 and 8 we will connect our cooling option here the connection clip is totally blocked with the plastic part just press and pull these things in the back easily come out now we will get the total connection parameters as we find in our diagram this is our connection part from the main connection and these are the heater part and these are the fan part so 
how we can use this as first we will connect our these positive connections or negative connections to the bridge how we can do this just inserting our whole connection to the negative part just we will connect one of them now we will connect all the negative portions we will find here how that will consists of all the negative connections i have attached with the same place and it should be cautiously because if you get any mistake then the short circuit can be happen anyhow so no mistakes can be done by you i have no cutter with me so i am using this nail cutter to cross the final part and i will attach this with the second of my connection table this is the negative terminal as i mentioned before i connected that and screw these things clockwise and tighten this we will connect this light option to one of our single conditions we can see that here the terminal part here we will connect the face and jump this to this fifth position of screw and seventh position of screw here we will find a switching in 7 and 8 here is another switching for cooling and heating so our heating terminal we get the output connection from these six of our connection terminal so we will screw this tightly as it cannot be any short circuited and we will do the same to the other with the short piece in five fifth terminal here we will bend this uh, insert this to avoid the short circuit and screw it lightly and another uh, we will use for fan jumpering here it will also be the same the seven terminal should be connected with this and finally the fan connection of a switching condition is connecting in the eighth terminal so my connection is quite complete now one thing is just waiting to connect this is my face terminal which will connect with this all automation part we will just connect all of these with each other with jumpers that i have been taken from the heating and the cooling system system now i had made this a bunch and the final opening part that i didn't need that i just cut down now insert this before inserting i will open the tool port completely and now hold the part inserted very clearly now i will just keep these things tighten very tightly now it will never been open and the total connection have been done you can see this now you can see the 
complete connection is having done what should I do now I just connect before connecting I probably do everything and I will use a series connection here it's a series connection does I have no chance to accident avoiding accident now I connect to the system when we connected this then we will find that our temperature is 3 degree and maximum is 10 degree we should have to set this minimum and maximum temperature by pressing uh, the system button s plus or minus this button and how you can set the minimum and maximum we will first insert the maximum temperature that we want just pressing this S and up button now the button is starting to up and we need 37.7 degree the maximum so we will release that we will find that 37.7 is set by that time and minimum temperature F2 this is our uh, fraction value what how can I change this for uh, change or fraction value uh, I should have to go this and I will change it I will change it uh, you can see that my fraction value is minus one now I have decided 37.7 the maximum temperature and the fraction value is 37 to 36.7 now I can test this with my temperature conditions here you can see that I just inserted my bulb with attachment of the sensor uh, the temperature is getting rising very firstly I have decided the maximum value of my temperature is 37.7 so the value it's gaining instantly the light is off and now when the temperature will uh, decrease uh, here I am showing you that instant uh, 36.7 when it below 36.6 then instantly the light is lightened down so uh, this is our whole video just if you want to say something or want to know something much please let us inform and we will answer you as far as possible and as fast as we can here you should have the two more functions you'll find we have found that two more function f1 and f2 we have already shown you f3 is compression delay time that means how much time it will delay to lighting on and lighting off and f4 the temperature calibration value is given that is minus 10 to 10 degree centigrade so you can totally contribute this preparation to calibrate if that is clearly needed so the video is having the maximum masses we will come back soon like this type of videos again please those who are not having the subscription of my channel please make the subscription and if the video useful to you please make us like share the video to everyone we will try to come back till then bye bye